Hello, welcome to Calculoid. In this case study, I want to show you how you can recreate any Excel file in Calculoid. Let's take a look at the file we have here. It calculates monthly payment based on annual rate, number of years and loan amount entered. To calculate the monthly payment, we use a very popular EMT financial Excel function. And here in this cell you can see the MAP formula running behind this function. If you need help with finding MAP formulas for Excel functions, feel free to contact our support. Now let's add all the fields to our calculator. As you can see, I added all the fields to our calculator as well as the MAP formula for the PMT function. The formula is correct and now we can think of if we could make this calculator even better. Let's take a look at our formula. Personally, I don't like the part where it says annual rate divided by 100 divided by 12. I think we can present this in one formula field and then add it to this formula. Let's add a formula field and simply copy this part of the formula to the new formula field. Let's also add the formula itself as the name of the field and make the field hidden. If you want to see the number in this field, add decimal places to see the number after the zero. Also here I would like to explain why the annual rate is divided by 100 and then by 12. Adding the percentage sign after or before value in Calculoid doesn't format the value itself as a percentage. That's why you need to add divide by 100 to your formula to get the actual percentage number. Now let's change the formula in the monthly payment. You can now simply replace annual rate divided by 100 divided by 12 with the new formula field. Please make sure you do it in the both parts of the formula. As you can see, the value remains the same, however, the new formula is much more easy to read now. All the calculations are ready now, however, this calculator will only present the monthly payment. But what if I want to pay weekly or fortnightly? We can add this choice to our calculator using a radio box field. Let's add this field to our calculator to allow final users to choose if they want to see the amount for monthly, weekly or fortnightly payment. I added a radio box field to our calculator to allow the final user to choose if he wants to pay weekly, fortnightly or monthly. However, you can see that the radio box field is not yet implemented in our formulas. To implement the radio box field to our formulas, let's go to our hidden formula field, which calculates the annual rate divided by 100 divided by 12, and replace the 12 with our radio box field. Now, when you choose weekly, the radio box field will return you 52 because there are 52 weeks in one year and divide the annual rate by 100 to get the percentage and then divide it by 52 to get the annual rate transformed to a weekly rate. The same thing happens when you choose fortnightly or monthly. So now this calculator not only calculates the monthly payment, but also weekly or fortnightly payments. I used our design settings to style the calculator, so right now it looks like this, and I think this calculator is ready for embed. And also before you embed the calculator, make sure you hide the calculator signature using this setting here and also set 1000 separators and decimal separators and make the calculator finished. 
Once you make the calculator finished, you will see the embed codes in the published app. That's it. Thank you for watching.